Welcome to the Automatic Transmission Fundamentals course. Upon completion of this course, you will be able to describe the functions of automatic transmission hydraulic, mechanical, and electronic control systems. Describe power flow through an automatic transmission and an automatic transaxle. Describe torque converter operation. Identify the components, function, and operation of the transmission hydraulic system. Identify operation of holding devices, clutches, bands, servos. Identify the components in a planetary gear set and describe planetary gear set operation. Identify the function and operation of a differential. Automatic transmissions and transaxles perform the same functions as manual units with a clutch, but they do it automatically. Automatic transmissions and transaxles transfer rotational force from the engine to the wheels of a vehicle. Utilize a torque converter to provide a coupling between the engine and the driving components, such as gears, drive shafts, differentials, and axles. Utilize planetary gears, hydraulic clutches, and brakes to change gear ratios. Power flow is the flow of power from the engine to the drive wheels. Automatic transmissions and transaxles work basically the same way. They differ primarily in the way the engine's power is transferred to the driving wheels. Select both transmission and transaxle for additional information. In a transmission, power flows from front to rear. The engine transfers rotational torque through the crankshaft to the torque converter in the automatic transmission. The torque converter transfers rotational torque through the gear sets to the output shaft. The output shaft drives a drive shaft. Final drive is achieved by a differential external to the transmission in the rear end of the vehicle. The differential transfers the torque to the axles to the drive wheels. In a transaxle, the engine transfers rotational torque through the crankshaft to the torque converter in the transaxle. The torque converter transfers rotational torque to the transaxle gear sets and to a final drive differential inside the transaxle. The differential transfers the torque to the axles to drive the wheels. Let's look at power flow within a transmission. Power enters the transmission via the torque converter, which transfers the power to the input shaft. At this point, some of the power is also used to drive the fluid pump. Click on each configuration for detailed information. In this transaxle equipped vehicle, power flow enters at the torque converter. At this point, the transaxle uses a set of gears to transfer power to the input shaft. Some of the power passes to the pump's input shaft and drives the fluid pump. The output shaft transfers power to the transaxle's final drive assembly, which directs the power flow to each drive wheel. In the rear wheel drive vehicle shown here, power flow starts at the input shaft, goes through the torque converter, and is selectively diverted through various hydraulic apply components and into the planetary gear set elements. After the gear set, the power flow passes through other apply components into the output shaft and then out of the transmission. An automatic transmission uses planetary gear sets to create different gear ratios by holding different parts of the gear set stationary and changing the inputs and outputs. Four types of ratios can be obtained. Reduction, direct drive, overdrive, and reverse. Select each drive condition for more information.
Let's look closely at the basic components of an automatic transmission and transaxle. Select each component for detailed information. The torque converter transmits engine power to the input shaft of the transmission using hydraulic coupling. This provides a relatively smooth transfer of torque. Additionally, a mechanical lockup function allows a direct mechanical link between the engine and transmission, improving performance and fuel economy. The oil pump circulates automatic transmission fluid through the valve body, planetary assemblies, and torque converter in transmission fluid cooler. The oil pump is driven by the engine. Three types of pumps are typically used in automatic transmissions. Rotary type, gear type, vane type. In early model vehicles, the valve body was the hydraulic and mechanical brains of the transmission. Today, it typically functions as the hydraulic network of the transmission. It consists of numerous mechanical valves and passages designed to direct hydraulic pressure to clutches and bands to hold or release gears in the planetary assemblies to achieve the desired gear ratios. It also controls hydraulic pressure to the torque converter and ensures smooth shift feel by regulating overall system pressure. Electronically controlled transmissions use hydraulics to actuate clutches and bands but each hydraulic circuit is controlled electronically by a computer-switched solenoid. More recently, some or nearly all transmission control electronic functionality is packaged with the valve body and often referred to as the mechatronics unit or mechatronics module. This type of packaging reduces complexity and weight while increasing performance. The transmission oil cooler is similar to the engine cooling system's radiator, designed to remove heat from the transmission fluid before it is returned to the transmission. Planetary gears are used to change gear ratios. A single planetary gear set is composed of three types of gears, as shown in the illustration. The sun gear is the center gear. Planet gears rotate around the sun gear. The ring gear rotates around the planet gears. Depending on the transmission, more than one set of planetary gears may be used. By locking gears using applied devices such as clutches and bands, we can achieve various ratios of reduction, direct drive, overdrive, and reverse. Some transmissions, such as six-speed automatics, use more than one planetary gear set. Select each gear to observe the resulting animation. Clutches and bands are applied devices. Responding to line pressure from the valve body, they exert mechanical force on the planetary assemblies. Clutches are used to drive gear train components, while bands are used to hold gear train components. Select the clutch and band images for more information. Like a clutch in a manual transmission, the clutch in an automatic transmission connects and disconnects the engine from the transmission. If you turn the input shaft on an automatic transmission with the clutch released, the output shaft will not turn. But if you apply the clutch and turn the input shaft, the output shaft will turn because the clutch forms a mechanical link between the two shafts. Some cars use a multiple disc clutch. A series of friction discs are sandwiched between steel plates. The assembly, called a clutch pack, also includes a piston and return spring. Fluid pressure is applied to the clutch pack, engaging the piston and locking the assembly. 
Hydraulic pressure is exerted against a piston or servo. The piston forces the band to close around a drum or outer housing holding it still. This causes any gear attached to the housing to stop rotating. Transmission fluid is needed to cool the transmission and provide hydraulic pressure and fluid flow for component operation. The fluid also carries particles to prevent damage to transmission components. A filter is used to trap these particles. A dipstick mounted in a tube is typically used to check the fluid level. Since a significant number of automatic transmission failures are caused by overfilling or using the wrong transmission fluid, many manufacturers do not include a dipstick. A fill plug is used on these vehicles to check and refill the fluid. There are many different ATF types and specifications. Each transmission is designed to use a specific fluid type, and it's important to use only the specified type.